Hello everyone, I'm back. This is Pampi Morandanti again, and today I will talk about solving logarithmic equations. Okay, here we go. Okay, can we look at the first equation here? So this left side of the equation is in three terms. We are going to express this one into a single form. And how? By just simply applying the laws of logarithm. So the two here becomes the power of four. Okay, and then from addition to multiplication, from the subtraction to division. And then we simplify, 5 and 10 becomes 2, and then 4 squared, 16 divided by 2, that becomes 8. So we are now uh, having a single form of expression in both sides of the equation. So we can cancel now this lag of the same base, and the remaining value of x there is equal to 8. Okay? Okay, next equation here. So from addition to multiplication... That's why we have here the lag of 8x squared to the base b and just copy the right side of the equation. So now in a single form, we can just cancel lag of the same base and the remaining expression in both sides of the equation. Both sides of the equation is 8x squared is equal to x. And then transfer x on the other side. Now it is a quadratic equation. We can solve this one by factoring. So the common factor is x. So equate it to 0, the first value is 0 and the other one is positive 8. But the solution here is 8. Why? Because when we consider the properties or the laws, we require that b should be greater, greater than 0. It should not be equal to 1. The Otherwise, MN should be greater than that 0. becomes undefined. Because the logarithm of 0 is undefined. Okay? So our final answer here, which is the solution, is 8. Wait, there is more. This is the third equation here. From subtraction, then we can divide these two expressions here. That's why we have here the lag of x plus 2 divided by 4. Just copy the right side of the equation. Now, they are in a single form. We can simply cancel the lag of the same base here. And the remaining expression in both sides of the equation, we have here x plus 2 over 4 is equal to 3x. So, for x, just simply cross multiply. We have here x plus 2 is equal to 12x. Then transfer x on the other side of the equation. We have 11x is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 11. The value of x is 2 over 11. Okay. We are down to our last example here. Look at the given equation. This one doesn't have the base. And if that is the case, then the base here is considered as 10. So since this is addition, we can simply rewrite this one into multiplication remember that is our target to make this one in a single expression and then as i have told you a while ago that it should be base 10 then we can rewrite this expression now into an exponential form so 10 to the power of 1 is equal to the product of this binomials there you go x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 we simplify this you now have here 10 is equal to x squared plus x minus 2 and then here we go this is now in a quadratic equation. Then solve by factoring. There you go. The values of x, we have here negative 4 and 3. But remember, the solution here is only 3 because negative 4 is considered undefined. And by the way, in the last problem that I have explained to you, there is another way of solving for x. If you know how, please comment below in my YouTube channel. Or if you are my student, we will discuss that one in our class, okay? That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.